Hey guys, your casual gamer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Xbox 360 emulator on PC called Xenia. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to Xenia.jp. Link to this page is in the description below. Once you are here, look to the left and you should see download. And then up here at the top, you're gonna see master. Go ahead and click on that. And your download should start. I now have Xenia downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file. I use this program here, 7-Zip, to extract my files. If you guys don't already have 7-Zip installed on your PC, the link is in the description below. Once you have it downloaded, let's go back to that Xenia file. And what you want to do is right click on it, go to show more options, and you should see 7-Zip. And then select extract to Xenia master and it will create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip folder, so we can go ahead and right click on that and delete it. Now let's open that master folder. Now here, we're gonna create a new folder. So right click, new folder, and you wanna rename that folder to portable.txt. Now let's go ahead and open the emulator, and that will be this file here. And then we're gonna close out of the emulator. Now by opening the emulator and closing out, just created a new text file here, Xenia config. This file here will be how you access your settings to Xenia. Now I don't recommend changing any settings, but I will show you guys what this file looks like. Let's go ahead and open it. And we're gonna open it using Notepad. The only thing you may wanna change here is where it says content license mass equals zero you will wanna change that zero to a one if you're gonna be playing Xbox Live Arcade games. But if you're gonna be playing disc-based games, which I'm assuming most of you will, you wanna leave this at zero. Also, something else you may want to change if you go down to the GPU section, scroll down a little more, you'll see Draw Resolution Scale X and Draw Resolution Scale Y. This will change your game's resolution. So one on both of these is basically 720p. If you change this one to two, that will be 1440p, and three will be 4K. I'm gonna go ahead and change both of these to two. So it'll be 1440p. Now to save any changes you make in here, you wanna go up to file and save. Then go ahead and exit out. And at this point, if you already have your Xbox 360 ROMs extracted and ready to go, you can go ahead and load up a game. If not, I'm sorry, I can't tell you where to get your games, but I can tell you they are not hard to find. Now, when you do get your 360 ROMs, you wanna make sure they are in a playable format so they load into the emulator. So for an example, here I have Gears of War as a compressed file that needs to be extracted. So to extract it, we're gonna use 7-Zip again. So let's go ahead and right click on the file, show more options, 7-Zip, and extract the Gears of War. Once it is done extracting, you will get this file here, and if we right click on it, and go to properties, you will see that the type of file is a disk image file ISO. This is the format that your 360 ROMs must be in to be playable. Now we can go ahead and load up Gears of War. Let's go up to file, open, go ahead and locate wherever you have your 360 ROMs. In my case, I have that game on my desktop. Here it is here. Select the game and it should load up. And if you want to go full screen, go up to display and full screen. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Peace.